with the one-handed tennis ball track, it's imperative that we attack the ball from the outside. This removes the angle and ensures that we can just focus on depth perception. Here we shift the two hands with the emphasis again being on removing the angle and only having to judge depth. But with the two-handed version, we enhance the focus to ensure all moving parts are in the best possible position to achieve the desired outcome. Here we transition to include the rugby ball. The rugby ball should give the perception of being massive compared to the tennis ball, which should reduce the difficulty but enhance one's confidence and accuracy. Everything is focused on body, head, eye and hand position. With our final progression, we add opposition to challenge concentration by creating a distraction. This is the final picture one will experience in live match play. I've given two examples, one coming from the sideline and one coming from behind the ball, as if we were receiving the kickoff. What is still key is the focus on body, head, eye and hand position.